myself Aina. The next topic is decision making and conditional statements in PHP language. So in all the languages, the decision making and conditional statement is maximum similar, but the examples and the syntax only some variations. First, what is in the conditional statements? Conditional statements enables us to test whether a specific condition is true or false and perform different actions based on the test results. There are two types of conditional statements. First one is if statement and the second one is switch statement. First if statement. If statement allows the course to be executed when the condition is satisfied. If the condition is true, then the code in the curly basis is executed. Otherwise, that means if the condition is false, the code within the curly braces is skipped. The next lines are executed. So there are three types of if statements are available. First one is simple if statement. And then the second one is if else statement. And the third one is if else if statement. So the first one is simple if statement. This is the syntax of simple if statement. If the condition is tested, if the condition is true, the do this statement is executed, otherwise the curly the controller is skipped to the out of the curly braces. So this is the example. So if the temperature is greater than or equal to 100, then print the statement is very hard. Otherwise, the controller is skipped out of the curly braces. So the next one is if the statement. It is used to define an alternate block of code that is executed when the condition is false. This is the syntax. If conditional test do this, else do this. This is the example. If the temperature is greater than or equal to 100, then print the very hard else within a limits. Then the last type is if else if else statement. If the conditions are met, run the first block of code. Otherwise, run the second block of code. Both the conditions are false. The else part will be executed. So this is the syntax. First in the syntax, if the conditional test is conditional is tested, then the first to do this is working. Suppose if the condition is false, then the else part else if condition is tested. So that so on like this. So if the all the if conditions are false or wrong, then the last else statement will be executed. Thank you.